Greetings to you all my esteemed viewers and welcome to another episode of Damolen News. So my people, the National Assembly right now is a war zone. So another senator has come out to expose these senior senators, accusing them of receiving 500 million naira each. As he was about to expose them, they decided to off his mic. So I will let you guys watch this video and please help us to like and share this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you. You. We are going forth and back on these issues and coming up with issues of the budget and individual uh, issues concerning what came to our various constituencies. If we want to go into those issues, all of us are called people. Some senators here, so-called senior senators, got 500 million each. I am a ranking senator, I didn't get. Did I go to the press? Most of you got. And, yes, if we want to go into those issues, excuse me, if we want to go into those issues, yes, so I think that, I think that, I think that Senator Ningi, Senator Ningi, as you can see here, my people, this is where they turn off his mic so that he will not expose these senators. The truth is that looking at the leaders we have here in Nigeria, eh, looking at the leaders we have here in Nigeria, eh, this country eh, does not have a future because all these are our leaders, they don't care about us in this country. Please, I will urge you guys to watch this video to the end. There is a lot more to come. So, my people, the senator that exposed this budget padding have exposed more things about the senators. I will let you guys watch the video. Some 120 billion. Some 50 billion, some 30 billion. Mr. President, some have less than 1 billion. Mr. President, as I speak to you, I, Mr. President, as I speak to you, I do not know your check home pay. You know my own. I do not know the take home pay of any of the principal officers. Mr. President, as I speak, I know within the budgetary provisions, you made available funds for purchase of cars. Mr. President, I don't know how much, how much you are spent on your cars and the other principal officers. I know how much was spent on individuals, senators' cars. And as I speak to you here, standing, people are calling me names. I do not receive a single car. All within, all within the budget provisions, Mr. Chairman, all within the budget provisions, I have, I have, I have, as a matter of fact, I have five eggs, just like every member of the House of Representatives has five. Mr. President, I do not know the number of your eggs. I do not know the number of the eggs of the Deputy Senate President. You allow me to speculate, and therefore everything Everything that is in the budget is my concern. Finally, 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 Mr. President, finally, Mr. President, finally, Mr. President, finally, in the court. So right here, as he continues to expose these senators, they also decided to off the mic on him. The sincere truth is that we are in a very big problem in this country. We are in a very big problem in this country. One day, eh, all these our senators, all these our leaders, all these bad politicians, eh, they will save this country for us while lie. Meanwhile, according to the senator, he said he has proof and evidence to back up his claims. Mike, Mike. 
So my people, the senator who exposed this budget pardon has been suspended. I will let you guys watch the video. President sitting in as chair. My name is Garaba Musa Maidoki. It's on. My name is Garaba Musa Maidoki, representing KB South Senatorial District, sir. Mr. President, having heard that most of what was said was erroneously transcribed to the press without following uh, the agreed the agreed position with the Senate President so that report can be given to them. My, my amended prayer is the suspension of Mr. Se Senator Ningi. My prayer is the suspension of Senator Ningi for three months, but if he writes an apology to the Senate the following day, he should be recalled. That is my prayer, sir. Any second? Uh, it is, uh, Chief Whip, this is, you are, you are talking too much. You are talking too much. <laughs> Sorry, Musa. Uh, Mr. President, sitting as the chair, my respected colleagues, my name is Mohammed Sani Musa, representing Niger in Senatorial District. I stand to second the amendment as proposed by Senator Medoki that instead of suspending Senator Ningi to 12 months or 6 months, we should give him 3 months and also allow him to apologize to this Senate and put it in writing as well. And if he does that, and we consider that there is a remorse, this Senate have every right to call him back as as soon as we feel them. I mean, we. So I so move. I so second. I so second. Uh, distinguished colleagues, uh, the, I, I'm aware, I'm aware of uh, the standing order 66 sub, sub, sub 4 uh, that talks about 14 legislative days if a misdemeanor is committed in the Senate, not in BBC. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, I'm just trying to say that I'm, 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 I'm mindful of the of the rules of the Senate. Distinguished colleagues, the motion has been moved that in view of the grievous offense of Senator Ningi, that he be suspended. Uh, those in support of one year suspension. Uh, 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 oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, distinguished colleagues, the, the motion has been moved uh, by uh, an amendment has been uh, offered by distinguished Senator Maidoki and seconded by distinguished Senator Sani Musa that he be suspended for only three months from the Senate. Those, those, those in support of the suspension for three months say aye. aye. Those again say nay. Yeah. The eyes have it. <laughs>